Guys, today I wanted to do a quick and no-nonsense real-world review of this guy behind me. It's the LG 40 WP90C-W. This is a big, huge, high-resolution, ultra-wide monitor, and I wanted to just go through and figure out if it's going to be a good fit for you, because for some people, it's just honestly not a good fit. So what is this thing? It's a big 5K, 2K monitor, meaning that it's not quite 5K, unfortunately, but it has bigger resolutions than most ultra-wide monitors, and this is going to be really good for photo and video editors, people that really need as much resolution as humanly possible. Who's it not for? Well, it's probably going to be excluded from most gaming choices because it's capped at 72 hertz. And now you can get up to 144, 200 and above hertz, which is going to be a lot better for gaming, frankly. So a content creator, somebody who does a ton of work, photo, video editing, After Effects, Premiere Pro, this thing is going to be a beast for that. And it's going to have a lot of room on there for you to juggle a bunch of programs at once. If you're somebody who just uses one program, if you had Lightroom up there, for example, and your photo editing, unfortunately, it's not going to be that great because there's just too much space. And you're going to find yourself going all the way over here, looking there and going back to, to make some edits. And it's not overly efficient. But if you do have Photoshop and Lightroom open at the same time, that's going to be great. If you do have Premiere Pro and After Effects, or if you've got some folders, maybe you've got a program open for some notes or something, then it's going to be really great if you are a multitasker. So the overall size is just under 40 inches. And basically what that equates to is a 32 inch 4K monitor with another third tacked on. So it's actually got a ton of space. And as you can see here, this is what my original resolution looked like with my icon there. And here's the extra space. And it actually does make a ton of difference. So it does have a pixel density of just under 140 DPI. And that isn't outrageous these days. If you're coming from a phone or a retina display or something, that might be noticeable, but it's very, very hard to see the pixels. For me, again, as a photo editor and whatnot, it's not a big deal. My old 4K monitor was about the same at 140 DPI and honestly this is a lot sharper. Looking back at old photos that I've edited I can definitely see the sharpness and in some cases I'm having to go back and actually make adjustments because what I'm seeing now is probably what people are going to see into the future as screens get better. Now in terms of brightness it is a little bit low on the overall scale of things at 300 nits but honestly it's more than enough for most people. If you are in an incredibly bright lit room that might be a problem but honestly this thing even has a sensor to adjust based on your ambient light and I find myself being completely happy with the brightness. In the dark it's actually too bright so again the 300 nits might kind of shy people away but it's honestly no big deal at all. Now in terms of color gamut, it has a great wide range across everything you're looking for. Very good in terms of color reproduction. And LG does say that it comes calibrated from the factory, but in my experience with my calibration, it was way off. So I do recommend that you do a calibration or get somebody to do it professionally because yeah, it's definitely not quite accurate from the factory. I've got it hooked up to my PC with no issues, but other features that people might find handy about this thing is it does have Thunderbolt 4. And this is a newer feature to a lot of monitors. This is gonna allow you to connect your Apples and your MacBooks seamlessly. It's gonna charge it up to 96 watts, so you can throw on your laptop there and have a nice, beautiful screen. It's got a display port that's gonna give you that 5K resolution, as well as HDMI outs. And one of the cool things about that is you can actually split the screen down the middle and actually have like an Xbox and and your computer at the same time. So if you're rendering or if you're working here and you want to have some fun, you can just switch it over to a different input and have two completely different things. It's also got USBs, of course, headphone jack and built-in speakers, but speakers and monitors, let's be honest, are really not that great. They're not terrible, but definitely if you have a set of speakers that are external, you're going to have a much better experience. This thing does weigh 27 pounds. It's quite hefty and big. Obviously, you're going to need quite a big desk space. And overall, the looks for me are pretty nice. It looks like a really well put together monitor. I wish it was a little bit thinner, but I understand that technology isn't quite there yet. And it all has to do with the type of panel, of course. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. It's big, it's heavy, and honestly, that's kind of expected out of a 40 inch monitor. So what do I love this thing for? Like I said, I do a ton of photo and video editing daily and with a couple different programs open it does save me a little bit of time switching between those programs and it's really nice to have things open and not having to go searching where you just have like just a ton more room so 
Does this thing actually make you more efficient? Is this gonna make you love your job and wanna get to work every day like some people claim? Not really. Let's be honest, it's just a bigger screen. It's not gonna improve your life drastically. If you're gonna utilize that more screen, that, that's fantastic. It might save you a couple seconds here or there, depending on where you're going, if you're searching through things and dragging them over and whatnot. But honestly, it's, it's nothing too crazy. Let's not get super excited about it. Now this is a very expensive monitor. I did find mine on a really great sale. And by the way, I bought this myself. This is not a sponsored video guys at all. This is my complete personal opinion. So if you do enjoy that, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So getting back to the productivity side of things, yes, it's great for multitasking. It's sharp, it's got great color reproduction and it's high resolution. So really what more could you ask for? Well, it would be nice if the refresh rate was a little bit higher. It is a five millisecond response time. But honestly, I'm not gonna be professionally gaming on this thing. And I think professional gamers that need the utmost out of their monitors, again, this is not gonna be a consideration anyways. 72 Hertz after all is better than 60 and I'll take it. So let's recap and go over the pros and cons for me of this monitor so far. It is a 40 inch, which means tons of real estate. And that means I can have multiple screens open at the same time. And yes, it might improve my efficiency a little bit. It's beautiful to look at. I think it's really nice and it does improve the look of my space, if that really matters. For me, the high resolution is a must and it's definitely sharp, sharper than my equivalent 140 DPI 4K old monitor that didn't have the curve. And again, the curve does not bother me. I think it actually looks pretty cool. And if you are scanning from side to side, it's just less fatigue overall. The Thunderbolt 4 and connectivity is gonna be great for some people. Not really a huge deal for me as I'm just pretty much using it as a PC editing rig. Really the only main downside I could say about this monitor is the price. Definitely look for it on sale as it does go on sale, which I did pick it up for a pretty good sale and I've been pretty happy with it so far, I must say. So wrapping up, I'd recommend this to somebody who's not a gamer, but definitely somebody who's a content creator like me or maybe somebody who does a ton of photo and video editing or has a bunch of programs open at the same time and doesn't like fiddling through tabs and whatnot. I think that's fantastic. Like I said, it's sharp, the colors are beautiful and for me, it's definitely bright enough. I hope you liked this video guys and if you did make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. If you wanted to check this monitor out or purchase it I will drop affiliate links down below. Thanks so much for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.